if everybody is consistent on the same level, that's good. This one was acting her ass off around there. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you kind of ruined the, 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 the believability by having her in here. Just do it. You know no, you're going to do it. No, no, Martin. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to ask you how you're doing first. Doing fine. DTmerch.com, Martin. You'll do better with a shirt from Martin. Martin, he's like, I knew it. I just, I just want to get this done. Talk about the fucking shirts. Please. Talk your damn shirts already. Classic shirt. The black tee with the white logo. Ah, oh, so muscular. I have a tink, tank, a tink top, tank top. <laughs> when you wear it, it's a tink top. <laughs> when you wear the tink top, <laughs> I guess more of a twink top, to be honest. <laughs> I sell them the phone covers. I sell them the the gift certificates, man. The gift of choice. You can go over there and check it out. We got a lot of things over there. There's going to be many ways for you to subscribe, and one of the easy ways to do it is using your Amazon account, uh, using our Amazon pay button with that, putting in that username, that password, uh, pressing enter. Oh, oh my God. Uh, 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 Miss Dr. Feelgood, you know, we give you that name, Dr. Feelgood. Show him how good you feel when you get that toasted goodness all over your body. Oh, that's what he looks like when he shops for groceries. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, I want to get into this next review real quick because I'm going to do something that I, I don't think I've really ever done. And that is I'm going to talk about this movie and tell you as little as possible about it and not even show you the whole trailer. Mm. And we're talking about Unfriended 2, The Dark Web, Martin. Right. And like I said, going in there, Martin, we're going to get some drugs. We're going to get some sex slaves. The hackers <laughs> yeah. are loose. Hell yeah, shit. I might put you on slavery. <laughs> I might sell you on The Dark Web. And Martin, like, now nah, if I sell you first. <laughs> See how much you can get. There's uh, Now, the first uh, Unfriended, it, that, that movie, I admired it. I, and I actually liked it for a while. This is probably a glitch. Well, the glitch just typed. Oh, shit. Who is that? Oh, my God. Who knew Skype could be so fucking scary? And with this movie, they, 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 they like to tout themselves as, oh, we were the first to bring found footage horror to your desktop. <laughs> no one gets away. And I'm like, yeah, we got found footage. We didn't even go nowhere. <laughs> I have to say it was creative. Now, I don't know how you felt about it. I remember at the time, I'm like, wow, this is really good. And then the very end happened. I'm not going to say what happened, but at the very end happened, I was like, boy, y'all messed up that land. Uh, yeah, because, it, you know, it, it, it went supernatural. But I was like you. Uh, I didn't want to see it. And then as it went on, I was like, you know what? It's, I, I begrudgingly have to admit, admit that it's, it's clever the way they've put this together. And I liked it just as, as a drama. Just it, these, these kids on here... It yeah. got psychological with their secrets coming out and them turning on each other. And that's what, it, yeah, and, exactly. and, and that's what, re what really worked about it. Because before they tried to go full horror, it was a psychological thriller. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I will give this to Blumhouse, who released this. It's, it's almost like they tried, to, they tried to pay attention to the criticism of that supernatural part that we're talking about. And now they have part two. And it's almost like they're trying to, if they continue with this, maybe they'll go for an anthology. Maybe because this one... It's a little more grounded. This one is uh, uh, dealing with the dark web and the people who have very dark desires on the internet. And, uh, and, and because of that, they've, again, they've made this, going back to what the last movie, like in the beginning, they've made this more of a thriller. Now, I guess I'm going to show you just a little of the trailer. Yo. Hey, buddy, how you doing? And I found this folder. It was hidden. And it automatically connects you to this thing. Now... I'm gonna stop it right there. And y'all talking about, man, please play the goddamn trailer. Corn damn, quit bullshit. Ain't no, look, no, listen, trust me. Trust me. I went into this movie completely cold. Mm -hmm. And I even heard that the movie was terrible. I didn't wanna see it. And I went in cold. And if there's one reason why this movie works for me, is because I knew nothing but the title going in. All I knew was going in that dark web, and that was it. Same be here. Because with this, if you do go in cold, what you're going to get is a movie where you, because you got to soak in all the tones. 
and let it gradually change tones uh, without knowing anything about it. Uh, this trailer sport. I'm, I'm not lying to you, man. Stay away from this trailer. This trailer gives you the whole movie. Spoilers and everything. If you watch this trailer, I don't even know. They, it's almost like they don't give a shit. It's like they know they're going to make their money on the first weekend. Yeah. I'm almost, I'm almost mad at this trailer. They know they're going to make the money on the first weekend. They know they're going to get you in there. And they know that you're going to be talking about like, shit, they showed me the whole movie. I wasn't, I, every surprise was gone. It's all, they they want to get that money in, and they don't care about spoiling the movie for you. But the trailer plays the whole film, uh, um, almost, almost. There's a couple of things they don't tell you. Of course, uh, the ending they don't tell you. But everything else that would actually catch you off guard to add to the suspense and any scares that you get, they put it all in here, all of it. The movie starts out, the movie starts out kind of uh, really jovial, man, almost comical. Uh, it, it's in almost ridiculous it's, it's six friends who have after college they manage to still stay friends with each other and they have date nights on the internet where they play cards game uh, night game no i said date nights oh, okay yeah because they all set a date mm -hmm. to actually go in and play cards of humanity at three in the morning and it's like you know uh, okay I, that's unbelievable right there but like the first movie you get all these different types of characters you know you get you get the sympathetic character. You get the goofball. The nerd. You got the nerd. You got the handsome guy with the pretty girlfriend. They threw in a couple of lesbians this time, mm -hmm. you know, just for flavor. Yeah. But, but, uh, <laughs> but, but, the, but, it's, it, you know, uh, it's it's pretty much like the first setup. But I think a little bit better because they do drop little hints of mystery, and the movie slowly, very slowly, starts getting into a sinister tone. And you have to not know anything in order to really appreciate that and have it work effectively on you. Um, yeah, so I don't know how much you're trying to not spoil because the, the, the title is The Dark Web. No, what I'm trying, no, they show you, I'm telling you, I, 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 I really, no, maybe it's just me. If you want to go ahead and I, I'll, I'll get my, this is, this is weird, I'll get my rating right now because I really feel that strongly about this, the, your enjoyment of this movie. Going in cold, and now if you want to stay and listen to Martin's review, where maybe he'll give out that mo that much more stuff, then uh, you, you can do that. But I will tell you this: it's you have to give it some time. It's a ridiculous premise because it's all about hackers who can do anything. It's almost like the Purge. You got to be able to accept this 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 ridiculous ass world in order to like keep going. Uh, hacking in this movie is magic. Yeah, you know it, what I mean. No, that's the thing I I, I said. Well. This movie works as long as these hackers graduated from Hogwarts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they're, they're, like, they can do anything. It's beyond technology. And anything you've ever seen a hacker do in any movie or TV show, these people can do. This is some shit Doctor Strange would be like, how'd you do this shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what coding school did you go to? I was like, oh my God, are you, are you guys serious with this? I was able to let it go. As long as I, like, like I said, I was able to just kind of accept that, all right, this, because look, horror movies do this all the time. You know, they don't, act, they don't always ask us to accept reality. You know, they amp things up. You know, all sure. right, you know. Hey, we're talking about, we're talking about the, uh, uh, the danger of nuclear warfare. Oh, man, we don't want to hear that shit. Throw some giant ants in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> throw, throw, God, throw, throw a giant fire-breathing uh, lizard. You know, mm -hmm. be, you know, you amp things up in horror, and I get it. And that's what they're trying. And it does go to a horrifying point. And that's what I liked about it. Being that it is the web, uh, it plays on your paranoia. Like, this shit is ridiculous, but, you know, for a while, when you, right when you walk out the movie, you, you wonder. Like, the moment you pick up that device, it's like, okay, maybe it's not like that in the movie, but does someone have the capability of watching me? And I'm going to tell you something. That's, we are so addicted to, the, to our phones and computers. That shit is gone five minutes after you leave the movie. When my wife walked out with me, she said, baby, let's just get rid of the internet. And then we went to get something to drink, and she said, but after I get this margarita on Instagram, <laughs> they can kill me, but let me get, let me get this like first. <laughs> <laughs> She's made one setting y'all up to let people know, like, oh, they're not home right now. Let oh, yeah. break in. I keep telling her, stop. <laughs> God damn. We got an alarm system just so she can take pictures of food. I, but it plays on that paranoia very well. Unlike the first movie where it was playing on the supernatural, this, is, this one is playing on more real issues of, of security. You know, you, you hear about the director of the FBI putting tape over his uh, over his camera on his phone or his computer. You know, they're playing against those kind of real world fears right there. And, they, and to a certain extent, they do work. Uh, and 
even at a point where it starts to get a little silly, uh, you, you start to wonder at what point are they going to be able to reach people? I mean, they do it in some kind of creative way. Uh, and like I said, I, I admire this series just for being, uh, being as creative, creative as it is with the limited space of a computer screen. So, you know, I, 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 I'm not expecting everybody to like uh, get over the silly parts of hacking in this movie. You know, I'm not a hacker, so I can, I can easily let that go. But uh, I, give it a, I give it a mad name, man. I think it's very effective as far as suspense goes. I mean, as near the end, I, was, I had sweaty palms. I was, I was ratched up, man. I was wondering what was going to happen next. And I felt very uh, scared for the characters in here. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, well, with the first one, you're right. It, it, it was something supernatural. So this time, nothing supernatural, grounded, it's a thriller, and yet is less realistic than that supernatural thing that happened yes. in the first one. <laughs> uh, and there's more money spent here, clearly. And I think it worked better before having that lower budget where the tech looked a little bit lower, uh, or at least the resolution was a bit lower. Man, this, this, in theory, this is a good premise, but they throw so much in there that I felt like it collapsed on itself over and over again. It's also where the, our principal players do not act or react the way real people would. Somebody's saying, you can't leave. You go, I'm in danger, fuck you. It, it, this, 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 there's not enough of that that goes on. As a matter of fact, the more it goes on, the more they drop some details here and there, the more I go, wait a minute. What you just said means none of this could have worked. See, that's funny because I knew it was I knew it was kind of dumb all these things that they were doing, but they made me buy it. Like again, going back to the paranoia, like all right, you know something? There is no hiding place in here. That's the scary thing about having cameras everywhere in this world is that if enough people are in on this to like make this happen, like you have a cult out there that wants to do something, sure, you know, then maybe they could, you know, at, at some point, not to this extent. Yeah, not to this extent. Say say it was to a lesser extent, and this exaggerated it. But it's another one of those movies, I always think of Phone Booth, where, man, what a high concept. Wait, why? Why is this happening? And then the answer is always, are you fucking kidding me? All this for that? That's not a, that's not a, that's not a, that's not, that, balance wise, it's not a good, good enough motivation for all that's going on there. This is one of those movies where I sit next to my daughter and she was laughing through it and I was like, yo, be cool, people trying to watch this. And after a while I'm like, well, you know what, <laughs> laugh, it's, 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 it's too ridiculous. All right, what'd you it, give? It, I give it some old bullshit. Oh, well, we, we disagree greatly on this, yeah. man. Yeah, I thought it was good. I liked it. Well, hey, man, I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry you didn't have a good experience like I did, Martin. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, hey, I'm sorry, too, because I had to sit there for that hour yeah. and a half. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I wanted to get into it, and I was like, I see what you're going for, but you, you keep shooting yourself in the foot on this thing. Ah, it worked for me. I don't know, Martin. I don't know, man. It's it's funny how many things I've seen you just hate, and they only had half as many faux pas as this. I saw. I don't think they were faux pas. I saw how they worked, Martin. Mm -hmm. and I'm, they, I, they, mm -hmm. Look, you you build a world. Your premise might be silly, but if you can make it work within the world that you set up, then no, 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 no. I, and I'm 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 down with that because you know science fiction goes. It's pretty much like, hey, we're gonna take this one ridiculous premise, but everything else we build around it is realistic, and you and you go with it. This started with that, but then within it were so many other things like, well, we also need you to b buy this. Huh. You didn't say that at first, but okay. Okay. We, we good? Yeah, we good. Okay. But also, you got to believe this, too. God damn it, man. How many things you going to add on here? Right, well, we just got two or go. three more things. If you, if you believe all this, though, it's going to be a fun ride. Nah, it's well, not fun Well, as anymore. I said, it looks like it's going to depend on whether you buy certain things in the movie or not. Apparently, I did. Martin did not. Nah. So, you, we, we cannot help y'all, man. Yeah, you, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got two different reviews. You know, go check the dark web. See what <laughs> No, 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 don't do that. I give it a full price. <laughs> Plus a million dollars on your mama dies. <laughs> oh, wait, we could be happy that our girl is getting some work, man. Yeah. Blum, Blumhouse keeps her working, man. She does. Yeah, what, what's her, Betty, Ga uh, Betty Gabriel? That freaks me out that she's the same woman from Get Out because she's looked so much older in that movie. She said, no, she did. She did. Yeah, here, no, she's, uh, she's much younger, man, and yeah. Blum Blumhouse keeps her employed. And she's the only one of these characters who actually does some things where I go like, thank you! Well, that's, I, I will give you that. I was like, you know something? I like that you have a bunch of unknowns here, and even though they're not as great of an, uh, of an actor as some other people out there, if everybody is consistent on the same level, 
that's good. This woman was acting her ass off around this. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you kind of ruined the, 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 the believability by having her in here. Wait, wait. If this kind of acting is possible, what, yeah. the, what are the rest of you doing? Yeah. <laughs> and even some of her actions, she was the only one going like, say what now? Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to leave. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I, I, this one way I saw her, I like, was getting toward the end. I was like, all right, if they do this one thing, It'll win a lot of points for me, and they didn't. And I was like, ah, god damn it. Then I found out from Nigel Duncan that the, this movie has two endings. Oh, one more. So, so, so do you actually have to get online and find out other endings? You have to go to a, <laughs> you have to go to another theater. Oh, but maybe online. But you, if you, depending on which theater you go to, you'll get one of those two endings. Oh, well, there you go, Marge. <laughs> Just pay for the other movie. <laughs> yeah, you like you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, why did you say I so? I watch it again. Yeah. And, I'm an idiot for doing that because Martin, both endings suck. Then you just gotta watch it again, Martin. <laughs> oh, come on, man. What are we arguing for? Martin gives a mad name from the movie he hadn't seen yet. 